force of your emotions hits you again. And she she looks like she's on the cusp of rage after, after that conversation. Like, mm -hmm. not mechanically, but like she is steaming. Oh, yeah. Like, really f happy. physically steaming. Like, all the moisture and air is just steaming off of her. I was, no, we... go ahead. I was just going to say, let's keep going. <laughs> yeah. As you as you do so, um, Not and Lily, another survival roll. And Otto, are you using another bit of luck? Uh, yes. Okay. Same deal, then. Fourth of the day. No, okay. Lily... I cannot, can I roll today? Jesus. Uh, no, apparently not. Even with that all is, the luck in the world. That's set 17. Uh, Lily, you, as you wander, you guys come upon another tree. This time, come upon a tree that is also a dryad. It's as if Lily's rage is causing this place to react. Now, the lights have changed again. You feel as if you are sort of in the first world again, as well as the material. And the dryad is half protruding from the tree. Her limbs have been smashed from the trunk by massive clubs. You hear soft feminine whispers in your ears. She should not have fallen in love. Her heart brought this upon us. Why won't she let us go? Why won't she let us go? Hmm, seems their love was forbidden. Caused them both a great deal of pain in the end. Well, not just no. both of them, to all of this forest. No, I think it's worse than that. We need to keep going. Yes. Cut I... to the heart of the matter. And this is why the human cannot fall in love with Faye. This... Never ends well. Not just huffs loudly at you guys. Uh, the huff is echoed by huh, 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 something huh, huh. Uh, in a tree nearby. And then that thing appears suddenly, looking aggrieved. Uh, Can you explain aggrieved to me, please? <laughs> oh, sorry, uh, as in, like, uh, they are also aggrieved with the, the statements that... Uh, Mortal and uh, Faye should never fall in love. They, they take issue mm. with it. <laughs> they look a bit like... A bit like... Oh, it's a little guy. Oh, oh no! Not the pixie! pixie. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> No, I don't like pixies at all. <laughs> I don't. So annoying. I love them. Don't do so, this to me. So he would normally look like that, but despite his huff and his slightly irritated expression at the moment, um, uh, he is a waifishly thin humanoid with gossamer wings, large expressive eyes, long pointed ears, and a diminutive two foot tall. But his clothes, normally pristine, are rumpled. Are rumpled. His eyes are puffy from crying. Um, he, he looks as if he's just been having a quiet cry in the tree, and uh, hearing this statement has irritated him, and he's sort of flown out to confront you all, but then blinks as he realizes how many there are of you, and proceeds to speak extremely rapidly, and brooks no interruption. He just delivers this all in one full flow. My mistress, she is ill, very ill. Death would have been a kindness. The land sickens with her heart and it cannot be cleansed until her misery is purged. I cannot do this myself. Please, you must help her. You are friends with a human lover. Yes, he wouldn't have wanted to left her like this. I can take you to her pain, but you can do something. I have tried to everything to cure her full on heart, but no avail. She wails and moans in the white willow and the plants and the trees and the nixie and the frogs and everything are dying. Or worse, I can take you there. Please, 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 please. Calm down. It's okay. You can take a breath. Please. We're following you. Go here, on. Here, here. I, I, I press the dedication just to help him clear. Click, clean him down ah! and just. It's okay. It's not okay. I it's not okay. That. It's not okay. I can oh, take. Oh. I can take. I can. I take us to her. Okay. Take okay. Take, okay. There's a guy. There's a guy. There. There's a guy who's trying to help. There's a guy who's trying to help. I'll take it to the guy. Take it to the guy. Uh, okay. This way. This way. This way. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Um, Lily just Zip, fucking so. goes. Yeah. Like, starts jogging. Bam. Like, no, I fucking run. 
Like I use expeditious retreat wand on myself. Sure. Uh, he stops abruptly, um, about 30, 40 feet away. Turns around, looks at um, Nut and Senshi, and says, "Thank you." And then turns around again and carries on flying. Jump, 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 jump. Absolutely, right now. It'd be very terrifying if he did not know what was going on with this. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, so, yeah. he's difficult to keep up with, but um, with your various perceptions and extrasensory abilities and speed boosts, uh, you are able to keep up with him. Um, you see more weird and twisted things, but he leads you around the worst of them, and eventually to another place where the light has changed. The trees are more densely packed, but opens up into a different clearing. Um, clearing in which stands a rather strange edifice. Well, at the same time, what is weird is that plant didn't stop growing from around Senshi as they, as they walked. Huh? Yeah, you're a, you're a veritable cornucopia of plants. Okay, so Lily... First of speed... Yeah. Um, so he sort of zips to the end of this. Can everybody see? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, he zips to the edge of what appears to be a very large tent, constructed on um, sort of wooden tent poles and edges. Uh, and when I say constructed, I really mean row. It, it's as if uh, thin trees have been grown out at the various points of the corners of the tent, uh, and then um, what looks like a mixture of um, leaves across very thin branches have been stacked around this sort of frame. Um, the, there's an entrance, an obvious easier entrance, and you can see actual tents, like real tents uh, that have, haven't been grown just constructed uh, inside and he sort of comes to the entrance uh, the pixie uh, turns and says I'm Yap by the way and then flies in beckoning for you to come in oh uh, Nut goes in I reach oh right. god <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at him and uh <sighs> As some of you go in, and Otto and Helmand presumably look at each other like, the heck is this sort of thing? Yeah, they're, they're, they're evaluating the situation before they rush in. Makes sense. Uh, those of you who can see inside, see some small tents, some big tents. Enough tents for some sort of expedition encampment. A large wolf um, that looks very old and much larger than really the picture implies, um, curled up, stands up, and looks very intelligently at all of you, particularly Lily. Uh, Yap flies around it, um, and it sort of half-heartedly snaps in his direction, um, but he dodges, chuckling slightly. And behind them both, and this is what we will leave it on today, stands up a rather shy-looking, rather surprised-looking, and slightly dazed looking, um, pale, bluish grey tiefling, dressed like a druid, um, and uh, with bags under his eyes, if he hasn't been sleeping properly. Uh, and what, he le what we leave it with is, as Ozymandias stands up, he looks over at Lily and goes, You? You? Oh no. Takes a step backwards. She looks uh, lost words. Can't say anything. Just... Cool. And on that. <laughs>